Hi guys and welcome to this edition of Firefly's Video Digest. As always, thank you very much for listening. Now this digest is going to be all about the upcoming Close Quarters map pack which is coming from DICE sometime in June. We don't know when it's coming and we don't know what the price is going to be but hey, we know it's coming. Now I just want to set out my stall on this uh, DLC before I get to the main meat of the digest. I just want to say this. Like a lot of people, I was very disappointed by Battlefield 3. Uh, and by say, when I say a lot of people, what I principally mean are the vets, the people who have played the earlier games and understand what DICE has removed from Battlefield 3. Now in terms of Close Quarters itself, I'm not necessarily opposed to the DLC, I'm not necessarily opposed to what's in it. What I'm opposed to is what DICE has done to the Battlefield franchise. Now, DICE has said that they want us to be able to put want everyone to be able to play Battlefield 3 how they want but surely that infers that there has to be the capability there for us to play it how we want and the people who play the earlier Battlefields understand that what DICE have done is removed basically the core of the game things like Battle Recorder, things like Commander, simple things like Squad VoIP, even something as basic as the Spectate mode. Now, the battlefield was all the battlefield games were always about team play, huge maps, vehicles, a commander in there commanding people, everyone working together towards some kind of objective. What DICE have done is remove the majority of those team play elements. If they had kept them but allowed the option for other people to play it in a, a well for want of a better phrase a cod style but left the options in there for players like us to be able to play in the battlefield style everyone would be happy and everyone will be able to play the game their way you want to play in a traditional battlefield way you've got your commander mode you've got your squad leaders you've got everything that you need or if you want to do more run and gun you set your server up for that you've got maps things like grand bazaar metro sorry for swearing and all those kinds of things that you can play in that way. That truly would be Battlefield for everyone, play it your way. But what DICE have done is remove the things that made Battlefield great in the first place and just left the casual stuff behind. That's not the way that they should do it. As I said before, if they'd have left in the parts that made Battlefield great, then all of us would be saying, well, you know, okay, close quarters, it's DLC, it's a map pack, it's not what we want, but brings more people in. And that really is my attitude towards uh, the Close Quarters DLC, is I haven't got a problem with the DLC itself. My problem is what, with what DICE have done to the Battlefield franchise. And this brings me right into the message that I want to put out for this digest, and it's this. This DLC is the first opportunity that you and I have had to register with our wallets with DICE that we are not happy with the way that they've taken this franchise. Now we have already had DLC in the form of Back to Carcam, however most of us got that for free, I don't think that many people actually had to purchase it. Close Quarters is the first time we've been asked to buy something as part of Battlefield 3 by DICE. So this is the very first opportunity that we have to turn around to DICE and say I'm not happy the DLC itself might be fine, but on principle, I am not going to purchase this DLC from you because the only language that you understand is the language of money. What I want to ask, if you are not going to purchase Close Quarters on either this YouTube channel or my site or on uh, the EA UK BA3 forums, let me know. Just simply put down your in-game name and just mention you're not going to buy the Close Quarters DLC. What I'll do next week is do a video roll call of all the people who have said they're not going to purchase it on principle. Now, if you're someone who's purchased Battlefield 3 but never played the earlier games and you're wondering why people like myself get so in, up in arms about this kind of thing, there's a link on the bottom of your screen now and I'll also put the same link in the description of the video which is one of my earlier digests. And what that shows is the, is or the different team play elements that DICE have removed from Battlefield 3. So if you can imagine Battlefield 3, and if you enjoy it, great. If you imagine Battlefield 3, 
where it has all those team play elements in, just imagine how much more fun that would be for you, let alone us, the vets, but somebody like yourself, perhaps, who's only ever played Battlefield 3. Imagine what it would be like with all those additional elements, how much more fun it would be, much more organisation. It would be an absolutely astounding game. For some reason, DICE haven't put them in. That's, their, that's what they want to do. I don't agree with it, and it's been the subject of more digests than I can probably mention, at least in this one. So, coming towards the end of this video now, Again, if you are not purchasing close quarters on principle, please register your name on any of the uh, sites that I put at the bottom in the description of this video. Uh, I'm not saying organize a boycott because I firmly believe that no one YouTube commentator, no one site, no one person, no one channel is gonna make a sufficiently big enough dent in the sales of CQ for Dash to, to more or less notice. But something like this, and if it can get out to other people, if they get to know, at the very least, DICE will hear of it. They might not react to it, they've reacted to very little so far, let's be honest. A game in 2012 that doesn't even have a spectate mode, really. Uh, but perhaps they may listen, perhaps it will go. I have to admit, as far as Battlefield and especially DICE are concerned, I'm basically losing, if not lost, heart now. Uh, there's other games coming along which have really tickled my fancy. Uh, Mech Warrior Online is one of them and that harks back to my earlier roots before I got into Battlefield but also Planet Side 2. Now Total Biscuit has put up uh, a few different videos on that and it looks astounding. Now having been through the whole Battlefield experience or Battlefield 3 experience we all know just how good the hype train can be. So I'm waiting to get my hands on that puppy before saying it's the best thing since sliced bread. But all of the indications are good that Planet Scythe uh, 2 is going to be an absolutely cracking game and that's something I'm really looking forward to. So once that comes out, and again, Met Warrior Online as well, once those come out, the digests will more than likely just move away a little bit towards those games, especially PS2. Uh, so that's it for this week. Before I go, I would like to put out a big shout out to a gentleman, I assume a gentleman, called Tuna Trunks. He was playing on a server last night. Uh, he was playing in the same squad as I was. And he turned around and said, hold on a minute, are you that Firefly guy that does the digest? I said, yeah, that's me. Oh, magic, you've done a really good job. I felt like a freaking rock star. So, tuna trunks, cheers mate, appreciate that for, uh, for you know, uh, thank you very much for the thought and for the, uh, for the comments. So, that's it for me for this week. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like it. If you've really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel or visit my website or even my Facebook page. Uh, until next time, enjoy your gaming, take care.